you know, it's, it's quite interesting watching the so-called black Americans, the foundational black Americans, and then the Africans going back and forth on YouTube and on Twitter. It's quite interesting watching that. There's a lot of salty, envious, and jealous Africans out there. They want to be the so-called black Americans. They want to replace black Americans. They want to prove that they are better than so-called black Americans, but they can't because the so-called black Americans, the foundational black Americans, are actually the gatekeepers to a lot of immigrants that come over here. I remember growing up in the 60s. I remember when it was mainly black and white with just the sprinkle of other races in there. You know, maybe some Latinos. I didn't know too much. I didn't know too many Mexicans. You know, it was just more Latinos, Italians and Greeks and stuff like that. But just a sprinkle of uh, of migrants or immigrants. Not too many. So the civil rights movement was mainly the so-called black Americans fighting, marching, dying for civil rights. But then it came to a point where women were considered a minority. So now a lot of the civil rights benefits went towards women and blacks. So white women or better yet, the so-called black woman became a double minority. So she got benefits because she was black and then she got benefits because she was a woman, right? So a lot of game playing that. So then the Latinos and then the other races and nationality of people. But a lot of so-called, a lot of immigrants that's not from this country they would not be where they are if it was not for the so-called black American, the foundational black Americans. Let me give an example. The so-called black Americans were the ones that made Bruce Lee popular. Now, I know there's a lot of people that's going to disagree with me on that. But if black people weren't, if black people didn't make Bruce Lee famous, you know, because everybody wanted to, to be Bruce Lee. And plus, coming up, when I came up, there was like a lot of martial artists, man. I was one, I was one of them. So, you know, there's a lot, a lot of martial artists coming up, man. Everybody wanted to be. And we watched those kung fu movies, man, from over in Asia, man. We bought those. We, we watched them, man. And then we start um, impersonating them. You know, we took martial art classes, everything, man. So, black Americans, we made... Kung Fu popular in America because not too many white people, to my knowledge, was watching those movies. It's mainly the so-called black Americans because when they came out in the movie theater, we filled those theaters. And then when everybody came out in the movie theater, everybody thought they knew Kung, Kung Fu or karate, right? So we made, we put Asian martial artists on the map, right? Fast forward. And then that's when Bruce Lee then started putting like Jabbar Kareem, Abdul Jabbar in, you know, and stuff like that. So uh, Jim Kelly, you know, because he was a martial artist. And then if you look at Rush Hour, Jackie Chan, although he was in Enter the Dragon, a lot of people don't realize that he was in Enter the Dragon. Jackie Chan became well known through Chris Tucker, you know, Rush Hour, you know, and then there was Rush Hour Part Two. Right. So, you know, so. Black people are the gatekeepers. If you look at Michael Blackston, he's he's an African. But if it was not for the foundational black Americans putting him on the map, he would not be where he is now. Um, Jim Carrey. He would not be where he is if it was not for foundational black Americans on living color. Right. So there's a lot of a lot of uh, other races that would not be where they are if it was not for black Americans. If black Americans don't take interest in you, you ain't going nowhere in this country. You know, you may be in the movies and, you know, 
movies that white people watch and stuff like that. But for the most part, you, you're not going to soar to the top unless black Americans co-sign. If the so-called black Americans don't take interest in you, you ain't going nowhere. So it's almost like the foundational black Americans are the gatekeepers to immigrants or migrants that come to this country that really want to make it in the celebrity realm, right? So prove me wrong on that. So there's a lot of Africans that come here, man, and they're like salty, they're jealous, and then they come here and they want to prove that they're better and all this other nonsense, and they call black Americans lazy. And I'm thinking you would not be here if the foundational black Americans did not die that the homes were burnt, crosses burnt in front of their houses, man. They were lynched, you know, for civil rights. Dogs were sicked on them, water holes. And during the civil rights movement, I don't recall seeing any other race or nationality. I don't recall seeing Latinos. I don't recall seeing Mexicans. I don't recall seeing um, Africans and Ethiopians marching during the civil rights movement back in the 60s, the 50s and the 60s. I, I, I didn't see that. I didn't see that coming up. It was mainly black Americans that were on the front line, marching and fighting for civil rights. And even to this very day, man, if black Amer if, if the so-called black Americans don't lead the, the protests or march, it ain't going nowhere. See, that's the purpose of Black Lives Matter. They used Black Lives Matter. They used the anger of black people to get the Democrats in office. And now that Joe Biden's in there, he's now bringing a lot of other immigrants over here through the borders illegally because that's, they're looking at them as being their next voting base because it's like, we, we'll let you in here. We take care of you. We give you uh, food and, you know, on the taxpayer's dollar, you know, all you got to do is vote Democrat. And they can't even speak English in many cases. You know, and they give them jobs. And there's, there's people here in America, not just black Americans that can't even find work. That's on a waiting list to find an apartment, but they get right in. You know, they have priority, you know, and they have rights that, you know, foundational black Americans don't have. And even American born whites. Right. So black people are the gatekeepers to many other races becoming successful in this country if black americans don't co-sign if they ain't down with it you ain't going nowhere you know you may get so far but you ain't really going nowhere you know because black americans are who make you popular so prove me wrong feedback tell me what you think subscribe click on the cash app until next time i'm fearless